You're watching 7 Local News. The CQ NRL bid CEO Dennis Keefe says the dream of an NRL licence could be announced as soon as mid next year. It comes after the federal government granted central Queensland half a million dollars to begin feasibility studies for a new stadium. Initial reports expected expansion announcements be made at the end of next year, but the league Heartland's hopes could be boosted earlier. We have information that makes us um, be prepared earlier than that, so we'll be ready to talk with a completed business plan by the middle of next year. CQ Stadium will be ready for tender in April after a half a million dollar government grant, a new advantage over the southeast bids. You become the fourth anchor tenant of Suncorp, and I know that's not going to work. Meanwhile, Brown Park has been granted a $1.8 million upgrade. I'm looking to stage NRL games here. I'll be talking to three clubs already and to the NRL about that next year. Gladstone will stage this weekend's Q Cup clash with South Logan. The regional reach is all part of the bid's plan. I couldn't be happier to be playing a really important game for us in Gladstone. It's a good crowd, it's a smart crowd, it's a supportive crowd. But the team's taken an injury hit. John Clayton hurt his foot and Jamie Simpson is suffering a hamstring strain. He'll be out this weekend, so I'll have to make a couple of changes. Brent Chris returns in a big boost against the Magpies. He's also expected to put pen to paper later this week. Yeah, it'd be nice to, nice to keep him for next year, I mean, most of the guys. The club have also re-signed youngsters Daniel Batucci and Mal Darkin for next season. Paige Cooper, 7 News.